Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Uh, welcome to another episode of Ditch the Box, the unboxing show for people who hate unboxing shows but love the product inside. Today I'm going to show you a, uh, a brand new product. Uh, it's a new category for Microsoft Teams. It's called the Teams Display. And it's the very first Teams Display from Lenovo. It's the Lenovo ThinkSmart View, uh, which was until yesterday, really, it was a Teams phone with video. With a, with a little update from the uh, Teams admin center, you can transform it into this new fangled device. Without further ado, I'm going to show you the product live. Right, so this is the Teams display. So not a lot to see uh, actually on the device itself. Uh, just going to walk you through some of the, the physical features of the device. So along the side here, you've got uh, a speaker. You've got a couple of microphone ports right at the top. You got a, a camera just there. Along the side, you've actually got a switch. So if you want to um, go into a privacy mode, you can actually flick the little switch. As you can see, you've got a little red dot. And you just saw a little um, indicator, uh, a notification that popped up that said the uh, shutter is um, switched off. You know, open that back up again. Camera is uncovered, as you can see there. Along the top as well, you've got another little flick of a switch to mute the mic and unmute. And then here you've got the volume up and down keys. Of course, you've got a giant uh, big screen here. It's a capacitive touchscreen like you'd expect from most other devices. And really, that's there's there's not a lot else to it. So if I kind of flick it over to the side, you can see it's quite a flat device. Um, but then all the compute power is hidden in this little hump at the back that also kind of suffices as a, uh, I guess it's a kickstand or a stand. Um, it's, it's, it's really kind of fixed in that way. And then of course you've got the power supply there. Uh, you'll notice there are no network ports. Um, and that's, I guess by design, it only connects to the Wi-Fi not uh, the actual wired network uh, like most traditional phones do so this is the new teams display ui so this is i call it the shutter screen but it's it's a, effectively like a, a shutter or a shade or or something that's kind of pulled over the device and this is what you'll see when the device is idle uh, you'll also see if you've got this set up in companion mode with your pc or laptop uh, using the better together functionality. This is kind of what it looks like when you've locked your PC, which then goes and locks the device itself. And it just kind of sits there. All you have is a clock with the time and date uh, below it, uh, a picture of your the, the user that's on it. And of course, this, this is me, the present status uh, of that user. And then you've got the ability to leave a note. So if I just tap leave a note, you've got the ability to tap uh, audio, video, or text. So audio is, as it says, it just uses the microphone built into the device to leave an audio note for the for the user. So I guess if you if you happen to be working from an office in this day and age, and you go to a user's desk and you want to leave them a note, don't leave them a post-it note, um, or send them a message or or something in another means. But if you just want to leave them a note, you can can do. Uh, of course, if you leave a video, um, it will use the microphones and, of course, the camera to record a message. And then text here is just, yeah. And you can also decide whether you want to show the preview of the note on the lock screen. So if it's a private note, maybe you don't want to show that as a preview. So I'm just going to tap that. And then I'm just going to type into the screen there. Hey. Hello, call. I don't know who George is, but it just, uh, it was a name that popped into my head. So I'm just going to press that. So you can see there, it's actually popped up. There is actually a note there. If I tap on the note, it opens the blind and I've got the actual uh, note, as you can see there. So I can then call back George. Uh, here's some, uh, some notes from my daughter. Um, they love playing with this, of course. And that's all the notes that are there. So this is the main uh, screen, as you would see on the Teams display. There's two kind of halves to this screen uh, in its home screen state. So on the left-hand side, you've got you know the, the, the icon of the presence of the user and the picture of the user, and of course the time and date. 
just like you would on a Teams phone. And then down here, you've got the various controls. So you've got the call button, contacts, voicemail, chat, calendar, and more. So I'm just going to walk you through all these in a second. And on the right hand side, you've got, I guess it's a notification area. So this notification area is, uh, I guess, think of it um, a little bit like um, kind of a what's happening next, but you know, it's, it's, it's a way to get out and surface recent chats and conversations and, and things with people that have been trying to get you, but it also shows your next, uh, and current meetings, um, along with the join button. So you can see, I've got a few meetings that are in the calendar, a couple of which have been accepted. So a couple of them are, are tentative. There's a couple of really cool things here. So one one you can see here is a join button, but you've also got the ability to say, I'll be late or start without me. So that will actually send uh, a canned message to the organizer of the meeting and tell them that you're not gonna make it on time or, or something like that. And then of course you've got the join button that is self-explanatory. And below that you've got, um, this is uh, indicated by the little uh, icon here, you can see this is the chat message with somebody that I've got externally. And if I keep scrolling down, I've got, you know, different messages and different um, recent things, right? So any of these things, you can actually open up and continue the conversation. So if it was a chat, I'll just find a chat that I can and actually continue the conversation. So I'm just going to pop into this one. I'm just going to open it. And that goes into the chat application. So from here, I can just press reply. And that's to use the keyboard and then type a message to actually reply back to the sender and continue the conversation. Uh, this was actually a meeting, so I've got the ability to just go ahead and join from there, or I can go and view the details. And then it gives me details of what the actual meeting is about. So that's kind of the, um, you know, what's happening now or, or, or kind of, it gives you at a glance um, the, the ability to see, you know, who's been chatting with you, new messages that are in your teams and your channel posts, but also recent chats that you can go ahead and just reply back to. So I'm just going to go into uh, each of these different apps. So you, the calls app is pretty self-explanatory. It brings up the dial pad and all of your speed dials. You can also view your history and then of course your visual voicemail. Uh, you've got the, the normal call controls, but you've also got access to um, the call park um, feature, just like the normal Teams phone. And then, of course, you've got the ability to search for um, actual people in your contact list. So if I just search for Yoda, for instance, it's going to surface Yoda. And then from here, I've got some quick controls to start a video call, uh, to start a telephone call or a VoIP call. And I've got the ability to open up the contact card. I can start a chat there, video there, and then I can also go into the organization chart. Contacts, um, again, you just goes goes into your normal uh, Teams contacts and you can scroll through them. Of course, you can search and, and you know, it's no different to what I showed you a minute ago. Voicemail, again, takes you into the Calls app, but then takes you to the Voicemail tab. Nice and simple. Chat brings you to your recent chats. And, and again, you can kind of continue the conversation or you can escalate this chat to more, um, more than just that. For instance, you've got the ability to start a video call, a, a telephone call, or um, get into chat details. And you can search through other recent chats and that sort of thing. Calendar, it's, um, I guess, a more detailed view of what's in the actual um, calendar for the user itself. Um, if it's a Teams meeting, of course, you've got a big join button there and you can just press join to join directly. And then you've got more. So in more, you've got files, you've got the organization chart, uh, you've got Teams and you've got notes. So files is pretty self-explanatory. If you use Teams on a daily basis, you've got a files app on the left and that gives you a quick view of all the files that you have access to actually in um, various teams, cloud storage, and whatnot. So this is just a, a quick bird's eye view of some of the files that I've got actually, you know, saved into chats and those sort of things. 
If I go to organization, it's not going to show very much because this is my uh, personal tenant and I haven't really filled in all that org, org data uh, for any of the fictitious users like Marty McFly and Yoda, etc. And then of course you've got Teams. So in Teams, you know, it's just like the Teams app on it, on the actual Teams desktop client. You can actually go ahead and browse through your team. So I've got a Team UC Status, I've got a Jedi Team, and I've got a UC Status podcast. But inside of here, you can obviously go into your various channels. Uh, you can get at all of your normal uh, posts. Uh, you can start a new post, again, using the keyboard. So I'm just going to go into the general tab of the UC status um, team there. And then you can also get at posts, files, more, and then of course details. So if I go into more, and you can actually see the channels here. Um, you can't actually open these right now, but um, you know they're there nonetheless. But if I just go back to posts, I can scroll through the various posts. If I go into files, I can get out the files specifically um, saved into this channel. Just see, yeah. And then from here, I can actually, if I wanted to, I'm just going to open up a test Word document. And it is actually opening up Word, um, kind of a web version of Word, on the device itself. So from here, I can, I can't really do much, but at least I can see the file itself. So here, I can open up a PowerPoint. And then from there, I can scroll through the PowerPoint. And then, of course, if I, if I want to get back to the notes, I can go back into the notes just there. So I'm just going to go into Calendar. Um, so one thing to note that you can't actually um, schedule a new meeting from this, from this view, but you can certainly join a meeting from this view. So I'm just going to open up this meeting here. It is actually a Teams meeting. I'm just going to press join. So here you can see when you when you do join, you've got the pre-join screen. You can see um, what the camera here can see behind me. You got the ability to dial in, um, have the system call you, or you can join audio off if you just want to join in presenter mode. You can choose to join with video on or off. Uh, with the microphone on or off, you know, maybe join muted, and of course the speakers on or off. But just for now, I'm just going to press join, and the mic is off, so I'm not going to get any squelch or anything like that. You can see that I'm actually in the meeting. You got the normal call controls down here, so the ability to turn on or off your camera. You got the mute, the microphone. You got the, the ability to turn the speaker on or off. Plus also you got the more button. So in the more button, you've got the ability to put yourself on hold, blur your background, which is pretty cool. Blurring your background from an, uh, an actual video phone. You can start recording or turn on live captions. Um, you can raise your hand, turn off incoming video or get at the dial pad if you needed to dial a number or something. Interestingly here as well, you can see that I can share. So I'm just gonna press share it gives me the, the ability to choose a PowerPoint file. So I'm just going to choose, um, let's just open up this one here. And now I'm actually presenting into a Teams meeting from my phone. How cool is that? From here as well, you can get out the attendee list. So I'm just going to press that and that basically minimizes you can see the meeting down to a little uh, kind of um, a thumbnail view in the corner so from here I can add more people I can add a room which is pretty cool I can turn on and off the hard mute this new feature that's just been uh, been released or I can invite others so this these are the uh, other people that were actually invited into the meeting so I'm just gonna press on solo So Han Solo is actually in the meeting now. From here, I can uh, open up the um, the controls for the organizer so I can pin Han Solo. I can make Han an attendee. I can remove them or I can view their profile. So that's pretty cool. If I just want to then go back to the meeting, I can kind of open that into a bigger view and get at some more controls here. So mute and, and end. 
but then I can just tap it again and that gives me back into the presentation. And then from here, I can get out the chat. Again, it minimizes down and I've got the actual meeting chat. And of course I can go ahead and reply, etc. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead back into the presentation itself. And I'm just going to, you know, advance the, the slides. So everybody in the meeting can actually see the, the presentation that I'm actually uh, driving from here, from my from my phone, from my desk phone, effectively. And that's it. I'm just going to switch back to the other PC and probably edit most of this out. And that's it. That's been my whistle-stop tour of the Lenovo ThinkSmart View uh, running the Teams Display UI. Uh, became GA yesterday, and I'd urge you to go and have a look at it. If you do want to upgrade yours, go to the Teams Admin Center and press Upgrade. Remember, it's a one-time deal. You can't roll back without being reflashed, probably by the vendor. So choose wisely. I would, however, urge you to have a look at it. Um, it's definitely going to be a game changer, and I think you'll love it. This has been the first of probably a few videos that I'll do on the Teams display. I might give you some little bite-sized videos on maybe how to pair it with a Bluetooth headset, or maybe use it in companion mode once that um, Better Together experience is a little more rounded. Thanks for watching this episode of Ditch the Box, and I hope to see you next time. Be sure to like and share if this has been useful, and of course, always drop me a comment if you have one. Thanks very much. See you next time.